I was ready to leave Malay's watch behind for the rest of the week, by the way. Powerful and pricey clubs stuck in a strange fog or stuck in that bad air that was in New York a couple of weeks ago. I was going to back off, but then all three lost again yesterday. All three. The Padres lost a Blake Snell start. He's their ace. He's pitched well, but their bullpen blew it. They've now lost nine of 13. The Mets, after their owner met with the media before the game, had another quiet loss to the Brewers. Well, it's quiet until Buck got thrown out. They've lost six of eight. The Mets are seven and 17 in the month of June. And then the Cardinals, who had been playing better, blew a three-run lead to the Astros in our showcase game. Giovanni Gallegos giving up five runs in the eighth inning. The Cardinals are 13 Team games under 500. They've buried themselves. So Malay's watch continues. Here's the record, the games behind, and the teams they have to pass to get the last wild card, the third wild card. Padres are six under 500, seven and a half back. They have to pass four teams. Mets are eight and a half back. They have to pass five teams. Cardinals, 11 games back of the third wild card. A little closer, I think, in the division. But they've got to pass six teams to even grab a wild card. <laughs> Mets owner Steve Cohen, who thinks like a modern GM, did meet with the media yesterday before the Mets took the field. He was pragmatic in his assessment of his sputtering big money machine. Yeah, listen, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't think it's sustainable in a long term. I mean, just losing the type of money that I'm losing. I mean, it's, it's a lot to ask, okay? And, and um, you know, and frankly, you know, I, you know, we'll figure that as we go, but... Um, I certainly have the wherewithal to do it, and, and it's just a question of how long. You know, I wondered about that. Dan O'Dowd is back with us now. How long he'd <clears throat> keep spending the way he was taking the luxury tax hit, and it would be okay. And, and I kept hearing from everybody, no, 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 he's got so much money. I said, well, wait till things aren't going their yeah. way. How would it be? Your take on it. Yeah, that. well, first of all, I, I love what Steve said, you know, because I do believe uh, – Responsibilities of an owner and people who run baseball operations department, BK, is two things. One, always be aware of where you're at in your process. Number two, mm -hmm. you know, you can, I say this, you can deny reality all you want, but you can't avoid the consequences of denying reality. He was not denying reality yesterday. Right. He clearly understood where they're at. But I think the Padres and the Mets are really in, they're in the Malay's point of view, but in two totally different situations. Okay. And let me explain why yeah. to you. I think the Mets, the trade they made with the Angels, you know, teams don't have the ability to do that. Usually when you're this bad and you get to the trading deadline, you're moving payroll to create flexibility. Well, the Mets don't really need to create payroll flexibility. They need talent. Yeah. So they've got the ability to offer the talent that they have by taking back all their salaries to access talent from other clubs. That, that's like way different. They can reboot this thing from my mind really quickly. Now, the Padres situation, I don't think this is an anomaly, BK. They didn't play well from the trading deadline when they got Soto up until they, they got in the playoffs, and then they went on this magical run. It's now halfway through the season, and they have not been a good team almost in every aspect of offensive play. Right. I mean, they're horrendous. Their runners in scoring positions numbers are historically, historically low, and that may not change. And so, for me, BK, what I do there, I begin to trade players. I, I, I look going in this trade le deadline, but I'm not saying to blow it up because they've got too many large contracts right, to do right. that. I'd remodel the home. I would take Soto. I'd take <laughs> Snell. I'd take Hader. Really? And I'd look to Some move those them. Guys. Wow. But I wouldn't look, look wow. to move them wow. for players down in A-ball. Yeah. I'd look to move them for other parts of the big league level and then some impact players they lost in the Soto. <laughs> well, it's funny. Their GM likes to trade, right? AJ he does. Likes to right trade. AJ probably will do that.